There's one more way to create a NURBS surface from NURBS curves, and that's revolve with rail. This works a lot like a sweep, except we don't have to sweep around a circle. We can actually choose to sweep around in any path that we want. So to demonstrate, let's just make a sphere. So starting with a circle, and that's going to represent the path of the revolve. Now we need a spindle, an axis. So we'll go to the NURBS curve. And we don't have to be in the center, but to make this sphere, I want to rotate around the center of the circle. And the key here is I want this spindle to be perpendicular to the axis of rotation, so I'm making sure that it's in the z-plane. It doesn't really matter the length, and uh, it doesn't matter the degree, because we only have two points, so we're going to make a line. Now let's convert this circle to NURBS. Modify, convert, convert to NURBS. And then finally, going to the Arc tool, and we're in the Automatic Plane, and I want to make this arc the same radius as the circle. So let's lock in the length. And convert that to NURBS. Now this profile doesn't have to touch the axle, and it doesn't have to touch the path, but it does have to be in the same plane as the axle. If this curve is not coplanar, or if it's not in the plane that would run through the axle, this won't work. So now we go to Model, 3D Power Pack, Vol with Rail. And the mode bar will prompt us what to do. So we select the axis first. That's this vertical line. Then the profile, this arc. And then the rail. And now we get a spherical nerve surface. So let's do this with something a little more creative. Start by creating a NURBS curve on the layer plane. It can be open or closed, it just has to be on the layer plane. Now go ahead to your NURBS tool and make an axis. So once again, this axis needs to be completely vertical. It has to be perpendicular to the rail. And just go ahead and switch to a front view and a side view and double check that you're vertical. Now the final thing we need to make sure is that our profile curve is in the same plane as the axis. So to do this we can go to the working plane tool. So in our 3D tool sets, find set working plane. And here I find it's easiest to use the three point mode. Your first click will be in the center to define the center of the working plane. And now let's do a point that's on your rail. And then finally to set the direction, snap to the vertical spindle. And you'll see that there is a working plane that intersects with your axis. Now make one more NURBS curve that represents the profile. When you do this, one thing that's important is to stay in this working plane, and a good way to make sure of that is over in your snapping palette, make sure that the working plane snap is set. This is a little strange in that this can unselect itself anytime you change tools. So if you want to make sure you're snapping in the working plane, Double check that that's enabled before you start drawing. And now, anywhere you draw should be constricted to that working plane.
Okay, when you have your rail, your axis, and your profile, go to model, 3D power pack, revolve with rail. And we select the axis, the profile, and then the rail. And we get our 3D object. Here's a few other examples. So here the profile isn't touching the axis, and we have a closed rail. And we get this shape. Here we have an open rail, and the curve is not touching either the rail or the axis, but it's still going to work.